Okay, this is a video to show you how to display an ROC curve within Excel because there you'll have more formatting options. Here I have the credit data. So let's first of all make an ROC curve. So let's use Bayes and then we just click here to get the ROC curve and go to threshold curve. You choose one of the classes and get the ROC curve. Now one thing you can do is you can save just this screen here, right here, not the whole thing. But it's not labeled if you do that. But you could do that. You could click, uh, if I hold the Alt key on Windows, if I hold the Alt key and the Shift key down, and then left click, I get this. So it's going to save it as a BMP image file. So if I do that, if I open it up, it looks like this. It doesn't have labels and so on. Now, if you want to open, to create one in Excel, what you do is you click here, save. You save this file. So actually, this file will have more than just the ROC data. It'll have many other columns as well. ROC, okay, and I save it as an R file, but Excel can't open an R file, so I have to go here, open it. here. You can see the data that's contained in it. But anyway, I want to save it as a CSV file. Can I save it as an Excel file? Oh, I can save it as an Excel file. So I'll do that. And then I'll open it up in Excel. And the ROC, I think, is uh, false positive and true positive. I think it uses these so we want the false positive and true positives. So we go here, and then we proceed to graph it by inserting a graph. And I think we try the uh, this one. So we get that. And this time, there's a lot of data here, so it appears as a connected line. But you might have to change the chart type to this, for example. If you don't have this, you can't really tell the difference here, but if you only had a few dots, this would connect the dots, as would, I guess, this one. And this one would connect it, but wouldn't show the dots themselves. So you can choose from these different options. And then you can also choose different styles, for example, that, that, this and so on. And uh, of course, with Excel, you can easily um, edit the chart. And you can click here, I guess, if you click there on these numbers, and then right click, you can format the axis. And it should be pretty easy to add a label for the x axis and for the y axis, and so on. So you can create the ROC curve within Excel.